Welcome to Magnetic Marketing Session Number 5, How to Apply Magnetic Marketing to Transform Your Business into a Money-Making Machine. In this section, we're going to discuss how you can use the principles of magnetic marketing lead generation online and discover the fundamentals that never change, as well as how you can apply those principles of magnetic marketing to your entire business. Magnetic marketing is really a philosophy as much as it is a series of strategies and a series of techniques. Dan, a question we get a lot is, how do I apply this online? Does this work online? Online really means a collection of media, that's really what we're talking about and so media is media is media. The idea that, because it is online or on television or on radio or on a postcard or in the yellow pages directory etc etc, somehow now all new methodology applies is a completely false erroneous and dangerous idea. What work does a lead generation classified ad in the first national newspaper in America, long before USA Today, which was Harper's Weekly and it was published during the Civil War? There was a vibrant classified ad section, full of lead generation advertising to get free reports about health and nutrition, making money in real estate, finding a new career, surviving bullet wounds all on your own, all sorts of stuff. What worked there as a classified ad would work exactly as it did there, posted online today. Pay-per-click is essentially buying eyeballs to look at a classified ad. One of the most famous classified ad examples of all time that was a direct sales, not lead, generation ad is, corn's gone in seven days or money back, send whatever the dollar amount was to P.O. Box. If you just change the response instruction, corn's gone in seven days or money back, see free video at. You're good to go. This is just not oh, it only works here. A really great Yellow Pages ad is a really great landing page for a website with capture occurring on it instead of capture having to move from it to something else. Again people get very Amish about this. I'm going to build a website so I'm going to go look at my 12 competitors websites and it's a website so it has to be done in a certain way. All websites have tabs down the side or across the top that allow people to hop and skip about so I've got to have tabs. No you don't. In many cases, you are foolish to have them. We want to control what you do. I don't want you to have 20 options necessarily. So people get very Amish about media just like they do about a particular type of business.